is kind of interesting. But, um, the rise of electronic voting, the red shift, and the question of election democracy. And uh, I'm Lori Miniti. Um, we have a great panel, especially on this issue of uh, voting machines and electronic um, voting problems. Uh, I want to introduce the panel. I'm, actually, I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Uh, but just to, as a preface, this is Jonathan Simon, Bob Fatrakis, and Mark Crispin Miller. Um, and I want to start just by talking for just a minute or two about the question of voter fraud. Uh, when I started looking at this question almost ten, ten years ago, I think I had a very narrow concept of voter fraud. Um, I took it very literally. Uh, and I thought, well, you know, are voters actually committing this fraud? This panel is, is more weighted to the question of a different kind of fraud, uh, a much more pernicious kind of fraud, um, a kind of a question about uh, the integrity of our elections that, I, that has gotten much less attention, um, I think, in the wider public, even though there's some activism around uh, the question of how we count votes, electronic machines, who controls them, the, the, the rise and the role of private corporations in running elections and election administration. So that's really the theme of our, our project. But just to preface that, um, the question of voter fraud is usually dealt with quite differently um, in public discourse. And it has real ramifications, real ramifications. It is a problem that is raised consistently as a justification for rules that make it harder for people to vote. You can see this in the historical record over and over again uh, when we have debated how to liberalize voting and access to voting. In every congressional debate, there, there's been an issue raised about, well, this is going to allow for more voter fraud. Um, it's in the air as we speak. There are over two dozen states now that are considering very restrictive kinds of ID requirements, for example. Um, and passed in many states, especially where there is kind of unified Republican control, the state level. Uh, rules that will undoubtedly keep legitimate voters from being able to, to cast their votes. Um, so I approach the question in a very simplistic way about whether this was really a problem. It seemed like from the congressional record I read that it was a, a kind of major problem. And to, to get to the point, um, in, in contemporary American elections, there is no evidence that that kind of fraud bears on the outcome of elections, that it's committed, it, that it's anything but rare. Um, it happens here and there, individual cases. But with respect to uh, lots of illegal citizens, uh, illegal, illegal immigrations, Im immigrants voting, undocumented immigrants voting, uh, underage voters, um, you know, people voting from jail and so forth, this just does not happen. Um, and it is a kind of distraction from, I think, what you're going to hear more of from the panelists about the problems with electronic voting, 